Look at that. We got one just backing out of a snag. <laughs> Easy now. Some 12 foot poles all over the place. <laughs> a little black crappie. There he goes. Oh yeah. Come on in. Oh man, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Come on in here. <laughs> Woo wee. Yeah. Nah, that's a good. Wow. Look at that. Hey guys, we're back and it's a chilly one this afternoon. The old uh, storms are coming. We got a lot of rain coming, so I thought I'd get in here and give these old crappie a try before the front gets here. Hopefully they'll bite a little bit. Sometimes crappie bite really good before front or after front, in between, all around. So you don't know unless you get out there and give it a try. So that's what we're gonna do. Here's the jig we're using today. This is by Sam. Uh, Sam is a young man that subscribed to the channel and him and his grandpa make jigs now. His grandpa's been making flies and jigs and Sam started the, the trade now and he's very talented because he's doing a really good job. And uh, we got some nice bucktail on here with a little flash. Got a green neon with some purple and some gold flakes in there and a white painted jig head. That's a 16th ounce with a size two hook. And I put a live minnow on here and here's what I wanted to show you guys. I like to hook them on the head because they they stay on really good if you hook them right between the eyes but look at this guys this is how i'm hooking it but this is how the jig is sitting in the water upside down and there is a reason why i like my jigs upside down is because this looks like a wounded bait think of it like this a crappie he he's following the the bait around he's following the bait water around and he's looking for the wounded bait and the injured and the sick and the weak in the small just like a lion would do in the, in the safari you know chasing the antelope or the buffalo he's always looking for that weak easy target well that's what crappie do they love an easy target that way they can fill their belly with the most little effort as possible now i can put this on there right and make it look just like a swimming minnow but when they see it upside down they know there's something wrong with it they know it's a wounded bait so therefore, I believe I get more bites because of that. So, I mean, you could take it however you want or use it however you want, but that's what I think, guys. That's why I'm always using these baits upside down on the beetle spin and on the jig. I want that thing to look wounded no matter what. Easy target. There he goes. Oh yeah. Little net. Where's my net? Let's just get him in here. <laughs> oh man, he's a fighter. Ouch. Not bad. Not bad for the first one. Let's see what we got here. Probably 11 or so. Yep, a little over 11. It's a good one. We'll take him. Better get up there and try to get that crappie to follow it out of there. Go bleep. Come on, get it, get it, get it. And then stop and let him come look at it. There it goes. It worked. <laughs> oh, man. Just a little one. <laughs> All right, let me back this up a little bit little one little white crappie oh all right we have to get our pliers and do surgery you choked that thing down didn't you all right let me see here there we go wasn't bad it was just barely there uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. okay fun little crappie later There he goes. Oh man. A good one. 
What is this? Is this a crappie? No, I don't think so. Whoa, it might be. No, that's a. It's a. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a yellow bullhead. <sighs> He's a pretty good one. Oh man, maybe I won't get you in my net. Whoa, look at that. He is a good one. Nice fat one. <laughs> Solid. You got my hook good too. Yeah, I know you're gonna try to twist away. Hmm. Let me get this hook undone. There we go. Man, see how long he is. Almost 15. Yellow bullhead. <laughs> They're fun. Starting to bite my, my poles again, which is good. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Oh, man, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Come on in here. <laughs> Woo -wee. Yeah. That's a good Whew. look at that. Man. That's a that's a nice crappie right there. Mm-hmm. Almost 13. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's some fun. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll take him. There he goes. What we got there? Oh, he is a crappie. He's just a little guy. <laughs> Another little white crappie. How easy. Later. Look at that. We got one just backing out of a snag. <laughs> Easy now. Some 12 foot poles all over the place. <laughs> a little black crappie. Yeah, that's the littler ones today. Every once in a while you catch a good one, but that's just a little guy. Hey. There he is. Oh, easy, easy. Come on in here. Let's see what you got. Little bitty fish. man oh man that's a tiny one <laughs> that's a uh, what do we call them war mouth little war mouth get this hook out of there ah he's a fat one little bitty guy later Oh, he's a little bass. He's a fighter. Oh, man. Yep, he's a fighter. Well, he's just barely hanging in there, but it's hanging in there. There we go. Yep. We gotta grow up and. Big boy, later. 